Welcome back. Let's try to solve some puzzles today, shall we? So here we start. That's a lot of not really fun tiles to work with. Um, and not, I don't see exactly where you could fit them either. It'd be cool if like you could put something UL. K-H-U-L. Cool. I don't think that fits at all. So this is a lane where there's a double letter score and a double word score. So you could try to aim for this lane here. If you could find a five letter word that used a high scoring tile in first position, that couldn't be too terrible. Uh, if you're really stuck, you could try to build down here, but that doesn't seem like it would score well. So, like, this seems like the standout lane. Maybe there's something over there instead. I don't know. But I probably don't know what the word is to begin with. Um... So, uh, yeah, I am seriously stumped. So my first guess is just peer for 12 points, burning up all of my good tiles. Probably not that for 12, but at least we found a word. Uh, how do we beat 12? Well, we get 13 somewhere, right? Um, I think there's a board game by the name of Ket. It's 22. I There's like no hope in my trying this. So we fail it twice. And then we're able to ask for a hint. Okay. So I was somewhere in the right vicinity. Still don't know, have no idea what it could be. Um, but yeah, I was thinking it's going to be something with the E late in the word. I'm going to start making up some words because, like, I need another hint. Play four tiles from the rack. Okay. K H P D. Those are four tiles. Let's do it. Okay, give me another hint. The score for the play is 30 with four tiles. So it's like if I were to take all my highest scoring tiles and stick them right there. Oh, that is 36. Okay, so. It's still exceedingly unlikely that this is the correct place to play. But I can't actually rule it out on account of the score. Uh, it's 34. How do I score four less points? Um, oh. There we go. 30 points. Got it. Let's see, what's this? Hadier. Sure. Uh, oh, here we go. Shadier. That's a word. Yeah. Alright. Insiders? If there's an open eye. I don't see one. Um... N-E-S-S -S is a fun suffix, or E-D is a fun suffix, but um, doesn't seem like there's a lot of open lanes here. Something I-E-R, but there's not enough vowels to make that work. Um, eco something. Eco diners. That's a word, right? 
Um, hmm. <laughs> yep. These puzzles are hard. Okay, 22 points. Terrible. Uh, can't score any more than that, but maybe I could get a better leave. Um, is this... Okay, SED is not legal. Where do I play? This lane. Axed for 23. ECOD is not a word. Well, how am I supposed to know that? Um, uh, how many tiles? Oh, use all the tiles. Okay, ING. Sure. I guess that's a word. Might as well play it. Um, hmm. You know, it'd be nice if they could somehow adapt the puzzles based on which hints beginners take. I don't know if you could offer a style of puzzle that um, targets a particular kind of beginner that without completely overburdening them uh, helps them learn how to do things better. I think there's some balance that's almost impossible to achieve between learning and, um, uh, I don't know, presenting a challenge. I see. That's a word. This lane? What the hell? Well, it's not going to be next to the C, then. Uh, the V doesn't fit here. The Y might. Um... But if the Y fit there, like, what else are you doing? Is that it? How many tiles? What? Oh, okay. What? Excuse me. A vanity? Wait. I have no idea. Alright, give me the play score, 71. So we tried this phony, which scored 69. And they're told that we need 71. Which means we're putting a one point tile up here. There we go. Jeez. Even with, like, two of these hints, many of these are extraordinarily challenging. Just saying. I'm going to break your rating system by accidentally trying all these puzzles and not doing particularly well at some of them, doing overly well at others. Like, I'm going to mess up all the rating system. It's all my fault. Because I'm just not consistent. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing I can do about that. Alright, so this seems like a standout play. No. It, it, I mean, this has got to be it, right? Alright, where am I playing? This lane. Okay, how am I supposed to know that? How about this one? No? Okay. So, like, ox instead? No. Three tiles. Is oxy even a word? It's not. Is it exo? No. Oxo? Alright. That only took six attempts. Um. So. We're below. 1300 again, which hopefully means the puzzles get slightly easier, because I'm not not the world's leading puzzle expert, to say the least. Um, 
Hmm. Jade is a word that doesn't seem to fit anywhere. Fits here. Doesn't seem particularly good. Um, hmm. We could oh wait. Ojive doesn't take a J, does it? This doesn't score well anyway. Um. But yeah, this was my first thought. It's not good enough. There's, the board's too large. Row 12. Alright. Jade is good, though. Like, how can something beat Jade? That doesn't make sense. I have no idea. Give me another hint. War tiles. Still have no hint idea. J something ending in D. Jold? No, that ain't a word. 44. Alright, so this doesn't even score enough. Wow, I came up with Jade, but could not find Jaded. Alright, well, I'm smart. Um, it just means the next puzzle's easier, right? Maybe? Alright, so something ending... Some five-letter word starting with E. It's not evil, because evil doesn't reach. Have I seen somebody else do this one? I don't know. Okay, it's not E-line. This has got to be the lane, though. Um... I didn't get the right lane. But I was so certain. How could I be wrong when I'm so certain? I don't have another E for devolve. Divolve. That's a word, right? And divolve. Alright. This is a bingo. It's going to end in ED then. Um, or unless it starts or ends with something else. <sighs> Vivaland. 80 points. So... Von Evled. Uh, okay, so there's no bonus square. There's no double letter square anywhere in range. Right? Like, I'm looking at the opposite end of the board. Here, the triple letter score is already occupied. So... I guess 80 tells us that we go through here, but doesn't tell us anything else. Video one. Um, Lovened. Uh, I have no idea. Devolven. Devolving it seems good to me. Involved? Alright. Well, 
Took us 10 attempts. Somehow we got it. I even identified ED as a suffix. Just couldn't anagram the rest of that for some reason. Um, Alright. So my first thought is like, gee, right? Easy 11 points. Uh, but then we see like ING is down here. And I'm trying to find, is there some place to do like something ING? Wing. Lutwing. All right, sure. 64 points if it's only a word. Ah, come on. Utelving. All right. Damn. Ring. Where does it go? This one. Mm-hmm. Tultring is not a word. It is a bingo. Twat uh, ring. I don't know. Just making up 68 points. 68 is what you score for hitting that or for hitting the other one. Um, so... Uh, but it really doesn't narrow it down at all. Other than to say we know that the V is not involved but we know we don't hit L1 or 1L, but literally anything else could be it. Um, this is painful. People play this game for recreation, and this is just a puzzle. I have no idea. Show me. Turtling. Okay. That's cute. Well played. So, ago is a word. Ox is a word. Oh, come on. That was good. That was a really good play. That was a fantastic play. Why do you hate it so much? Could I score more elsewhere? Or is that just like a terrible leave or what? 57. Alright, 57 is not bad. I don't even get partial credit for getting it on the second try. <laughs> no partial credit. Man, it's brutal. It's decisive. <laughs> Alright, so one thing that occurs to me is zeal, which scores diddly. Um, so there's got to be better. But where? I don't know any hook to alien, so like building a cross doesn't look profitable. I don't know any front hook or top hook to tetrad. You know, it's funny. Um, the Some other week a player was mentioning, why do we call these front hooks and back hooks? And like, you know, we should call that a top hook. Call that a right hook, a left hook, a bottom hook. It seems much more informative in the context of a board position. I mean, yeah, in the context of just learning the lexicon, it doesn't matter whether a word is vertical or horizontal, 
But when we are considering hooks, the reason we're considering it is because of the board position. I mean, in some sense, you might achieve a position where a word could be played vertically or horizontally, and you might be concerned that in both cases it would produce hooks. So that's fair, and then I guess you'd need a way to talk about that. But when something's on the board, like left hook, right hook, top hook, bottom hook, seems to make enough sense to me. Meh. Most of my ideas are wildly unpopular. Because they haven't been done before. And it's hard to prove that new ideas are good. <laughs> um... Hmm. Suez. That's a word, right? Ah. Suez. Nope. All right. Where does it go? This lane. All righty then. Um. Twenty-two. A bingo. What the fuck? No. How? How is this a bingo? Huh. <laughs> I mean, there's like as you write or something, right? A Z U R, Azurine or something. I don't know. Um, is that a word? No. I don't know the word. Uh, ninety-six. How much did my made-up word score here? 76. So the Z needs to go on a triple. So it needs to be there. This is going to be an N, unless there's some other letter I'm missing. This probably starts with an A. The U probably fits here. I don't know. Like, how could this be anything other than an N? It could be an S. I have no idea. Unraised. Alright, so I hit the wrong spot for the Z. Un is a very strong prefix. Not to be forgotten. All right, next puzzle. <laughs> um, yeah, that was easy. Next puzzle. My, my rating didn't even move from that. At least I didn't see it move. Maybe it did. Hey, we almost got QBAP. Um, so, let's see. Uh, what? I can't type. All right. And then, I don't know, fauna? Yeah, it's a good dump. And here, icer. That's a word, right? Nope. Hmm. Yeah. Orifice? No. We have too many eyes. I don't know, man. Fire. Where does it go? 
this spot. All right, ice. Four tiles. I have no idea. 24 points. That's too many. Um, no. Just have to keep guessing until we run out of possibilities. Alright, we found it. It's funny, I can guess all day there and it only penalizes me once. Uh, how generous. Um, liver like this is a word. Since when? Stadio. Stadio. All right, where does it go? Oh, not even there. All right. Um, dot. How many tiles? Five. Idiot. How about that? Yeah. All right, so then what? Um, okay, SE is not a word. Otherwise, it could be a fun lane here. Um, pledges? Eggs? I don't know. Egg. I don't think K A G is a word. Um, <sighs> sharpen. Sharpen ain't a word. Harping. Yatter is not a word. Alright. This lane. I still have no idea. Five tiles. I need that. All right, just testing you. That's not the highest scoring play. Oh, and this lexicon doesn't even recognize that word. Fine. Um... Like, the reason I'm giving up so quickly is because it's basically impossible for me to find the spot without spending, like, five to ten minutes per problem, and that's way more than I want to spend on a problem right now. It's hard to get invested in these problems. Oh, I don't have a D. I was trying to type dirt, which doesn't even hit here. Hmm. Is 
this lane? What? Uh, IER. Lutieri. That's a word. All right. Glorietti. Rutabaga. 61. Oh, these are all one-point tiles, so, like, what am I going to learn? 61 is what happens when we go uh, strictly above or strictly below. Or if we play... I don't know if there's other ways to get 61 here. Okay, there's a lot of ways to score 61. Liturgy. That's totally a word. Trilogy. I wonder if there's some statistic out there for the most times failed at a puzzle. Because if Woogles tracks that, we're on our way. Gutlieri. I have no idea. Guiltier. Alright. I guess that's a word. Sure. Win. Win is the best word, right? It's always best. Um... I mean, how am I going to do better than win here? Eh, let's try it. It's no good. One. <laughs> Whoa, alright. Where does it go? Alright. Should be placed on column A. More specifically, either starting at A1 or A2. <laughs> um. Mm -hmm. That's a word, right? How many tiles? Four tiles. Women. That's not how you spell women. Forty-eight. So my silly non-word scores forty-five, which is not enough. Uh, we need one more. Um, that ain't good enough. I have no idea. Winch. I guess that's a word. Yeah. All right. Uh, we got quit and quite. Oh, quit fits here. Yeah, we got it. All right. Um, mm 
Hmm. There's, there's no words on this thing. Okay. <sighs> so I E R is a fun suffix. But I don't think it works with anything here. Swornier. Come on. Gotta give me some of these. Oh. Alright. Um Warriors. The question is, there's three R's in this word. Um, we've earned two hints, but I'm stubborn. I was quite satisfied with this sixty four points. How can we beat 64 points? It's a really good score. A oh, worries. Not just warriors, but worries. Uh, could score more this way. Uh, that's not a breakout best. Uh, uh, how? How do you beat 70 points? I mean, yeah, it scores a... S no, well, one of them you can't play. Okay, where does it go? Here. Well, I mean, in retrospect, that's obvious, right? Alright, fine. I was happy with Ben. Is there some other... I don't know. This... what? Wow. That's weird. Three tiles, right? Okay. Yeah, we got it. Eventually. Bros! There we go. Zorb. Um, it's gonna be something up here. I don't see it. Oh. I suppose this might be our last. I just... No. I can't end on that. Boars. Zor. Didn't even get the right lane. Is this a word? Oh, I thought I was going to put Zorib or something. Zorid? How many tiles? Four. Zori! 68. Zoris. Nailed it. Does it mean something? A type of sandal. Now you know. All right, hope we've enjoyed this. We'll come back again sometime and try again. But that's enough for today. Have a good evening.